Federal judges just called out the FBI for what appears to be a policy of not forcefully executing warrants in affluent neighborhoods. This revelation hit because these judges said it on the record and with their chests. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. Two appellate judges on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, that happens to be a feeder court to the U.S. Supreme Court, mind you, well, they just checked the FBI earlier today. The case, well, it was up for appeal, United States versus Tarek Abu Katwa. Now, the defendant was convicted of using his position as an insurance broker to defraud healthcare companies. Basically, what he would do is quote the insurer something lower than he'd quote the client and then pocket the difference. Well, when it came time to execute the warrant on the defendant's home, which was in an affluent white community in Northwest DC, the feds seemed to have a nonviolent policy. Here's Judge Patricia Millett calling out the policy that she spotted based on the FBI agent's testimony. So, and, and, and up front, this is not something they've raised. It's just something that actually for me was profoundly troubling in this case. And so I just wanna communicate it to you not your personal capacity, but to the United States government, because I found this deeply disturbing. And this goes to the execution of the search warrant at his house. And what the FBI agent testified was, and this is the bottom of 438 to 439, is, you know, we're going to have to do a forced entry because no one was answering the door. Quote, the decision was made since it was an affluent neighborhood. We knew we had to make a forcible entry at that point. But due to the aesthetics of the neighborhood, we decided to use a rear entrance so as to maintain the integrity of the front of the residence. Are you aware that the FBI has a policy of deciding not to break down the front doors in rich neighborhoods? No, Your Honor, I'm not aware. Okay. And I apologize, there was not a suppression ruling. No, no, I, I'm t I set up, so I said up front, they haven't raised it. I don't mean to blindside you, but this is such outrageous behavior by the FBI. I mean, if there really is a policy out there that uh, in non-affluent uh, uh, neighborhoods will break down the front door, uh, but for the rich people will go in quietly in the back door, that's deeply troubling. It's, it's shocking to me that it didn't get more attention. So that's why I call it to your attention. That's all. I don't expect you to respond. Yep. Class which is very much tied to race, appears to be a driver when it comes to how federal agents approach prospective criminality. Said another way, when you're suspected of committing crimes, our government treats you worse if you're poor. How did the government, i.e. the federal prosecutor in this case, will respond to Judge Millett's observation? Listen. I, I appreciate your honor, and I will pass that on to my management. Thank you. Yeah, a simple, I'll share that with management. It's kind of interesting because really all the players in the room here, except for the defendant's attorneys, are getting paid by the federal government. While they do definitely have that separation of powers, it's all the same boss at the end of the day. It's the system. Another jurist on that three-judge panel thought he should chime in about the injustice he observed. Here's Judge Robert Wilkins, who happened to be a public defender in D.C. for about 12 years, representing those who could not afford an attorney. Thank you for raising that, Judge Millett. I was a public defender here for 10 years. I can't tell you how many times my clients had their front doors bashed in. Um, I don't remember a single time where any agent or police officer was worried about the aesthetics of what their house would look like after they executed a search for arrest. These judges aren't telling us anything we didn't already know. And the FBI agent who testified really wasn't giving us anything new. But to have it on the record, that's a hell of a thing. It's really just further confirmation that justice is not blind. It has 20-20 vision, and those who aren't of the right class, color, clique, and so on, are the ones to suffer. Do you think I'm reading this right? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.